So, the first question. Okay, the first question was, which one of the following is true about pragmatics? Which one is true about pragmatics? And the correct answer was, the study of what speakers mean by their utterances. Okay, the first one is not correct. Why? Because it is the size of a structure sentence and all the religious components. That was syntax. syntax, right? In syntax, we studied the structure of the sentences and it is smaller components. The second one, it is the study of the meaning of words, phrases, and sentences. When we uh, study words, sentences, or phrases separately, then uh, we analyze their semantic roles, semantic roles. But here, the study of what speakers mean by their utterances, the study of what they mean by what they say, is the study of paragmatics. You remember at the beginning of the chapter, there was a story about a boy uh, talking about the war. So, um, the two tourists, American tourists, they go to uh, Scotland and to see some ruins. While visiting the ruins, they are talking to a boy and asking about the ruins. And then he says, during the war. So the war, when we say the war, first the American tourists, they think about the war that took place in 1965. Right? 1965. But then they think over and they say, well, that cannot be 1965 because this ruins looks worse. So it must be World War II. But they are not sure about it. Then they ask the boy, which war? And he refers to a war that took place in 19. So 1745 or something like this, I guess, or ended in 1745. So when, it, when the boy says the war, he refers to the war that uh, took place in 1745 without going into details. But the tourists, they understood, or at the beginning, they thought about the war that took place 20 years ago, like in 1965. So here, the speaker is the boy. He meant uh, a different war, but the listener, the other, the other, the tourist, they thought about a different war. So when we studied the uh, the study, when we study what a speaker mean, we study paragraphics. Is that understood? Clear? Yes. Yani kişinin e, anlatmak ise veya ne demek istediğiyle ilgili analiz yaptığımızda pragmatik, pragmatik analizini yapmış olduk. Şimdi daha önceki bölümlerde ne gördük? Küçükten başladık değil mi? İlk önce sintaksten başladık. Sintax neydi? Kelimeleri, e, o yapıyı, yapıyı ince gördük. Doğru mu? Ondan sonra o küçük yapıların nasıl bir araya gelip cümle oluşturduğuna bakıyorduk. Yani şöyle, biz şu açıdan bakıyorduk. Structure var, bu structure nasıl bir structure? Doğru mu? Yapı nasıl? Ona bakıyorduk. Sonra neye geldik? Semantics'e geldik. Semantics, bu sefer ne yaptık? Kelimelerin, cümlelerin ve phrase'lerin anlamına, separate, onların bireysel olarak anlamlarına baktık. Hangi anlamı geliyor? Nasıl kullanılıyor? Şimdi ise tamam, structure olayı bitti. Kelimelerin e, e, bireysel olarak veya ayrı ayrı e, anlamlarına baktık. Şimdi bir kelimeyi söylüyorsun, mesela the word, kelimeyi, kelimenin kendisini söylüyorsun ancak sen bu kelimeyi neyi kastediyorsun? Mesela hatırlarsanız semantics'te şöyle bir ifade vardı. 
schöner Ballon. Hmm. That boy is trying to account for some semantics and objective olay var. Do you remember? Hmm. And semantics? We talk about objective meanings. We, we said in semantics, we treat words as if we all share the same meaning, right? So, uh, uh, the meaning of the word is objective. It is same for you and for me. But here, it is not objective. It is subjective. The word is subjective. The meaning of the word is subjective. subjective. It is a different word uh, for the boy and it is a different word for the tourists. So when it is different, it is subjective, then we are uh, asked for what the speaker means by that word or phrase or sentence. It doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't have to be just a word. It can be a phrase or a sentence. Here it says the word. But in some other situation, you can use a phrase and uh, have another meaning. For example, uh, you left the door open. This is a whole center. You left the door open. But what I mean is close the door. You see? This is what I mean. But I don't use it. Why? Because Generally, what is meant is invisible. It cannot be uh, written or said, but I communicate. Through communication, you can get what I mean. All right? Then we say it is the study of preference. All right? Um, e, it is behaving as if we share knowledge of the meaning of a word or a phrase or a sentence in a, in a language. No. We don't do that. We don't behave as if we share the meaning of word, phrase, and sentence. Because it can be subjective. To me, it has a different meaning. To you, it has a different meaning. So when we uh, search for the meaning, uh, search for what the speaker means, then we study the reference. Is it clear, right? Okay. So the second question. Here's a, there's a sign, baby toddler, sale. Okay. Now, when we analyze this sign in terms of syntax, we can say baby is a noun, right? Toddler is also a noun. That's it, right? Semantics. Baby refers to an entity, a human being. It has that meaning, semantic. And when we say baby, I understand a human being, an entity. Uh, and you also understand the same thing, so we share the same knowledge. But here, of course, we analyze a different aspects of this sign. And this aspect is that there is more than it is written here. Okay? Here. So the, the question was, which of the following is not true about the sign above? What is actually meant is invisible. Right. What is meant by the sign is invisible. It is not written. What is meant by what is meant by the sign? Baby clothes. Baby clothes. It means we sell baby clothes and these clothes are on sale, on discount. There is discount in baby clothes, right? But it doesn't say, just we assume the person who writes this sign assume, okay? Presuppose that the others, the seers, the, the, the people, who will see the sign, will understand that we're selling baby clothes and they are on sale. Alright? So, what is actually meant is invisible. We have to understand, we have to make out, we have to figure out what is meant. 
more is communicated than what is written, yes. Communication is different, right? You communicate, you uh, understand each other, you understand what you mean or what, what others mean. And you don't need to write. It refers where babies are on sale. Now, like if you just analyze this in terms of syntax and semantics, you can come to a conclusion that they sell, they, they, they sell babies in their shop, right? Baby on sale. That means you sell babies and there's a discount in babies, you can buy one baby. Remember? When you were a child, you would ask your mom, uh, Mom, how did I come to this world? And your mom would say, we bought you from Migros. <laughs> or, I remember, I asked this question frequently to my mom, and I said, uh, so 